In this tutorial, we will be looking at the equation and graph of the conic section created by a plane perpendicular to the axis of the cone, also known as a circle. First, let's look at how the circle is generated in reference to the double-napped cone. A perpendicular plane anywhere along the double-napped cone will create a circle. As we move the plane vertically, we can see that the size of the circle changes. Now, let's look at the equation of the circle. It is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. The following has an origin of 0, 0 with a radius of r. Remember that the origin of a circle is the center of the circle. The following example is a circle centered at 0, 0 with a radius of 3. What if, though, we don't want a circle centered at 0, 0? Let's take a look at that next. Here is the general equation for circles not centered at the origin. h and k represent the location of the origin. Therefore, a circle with an origin at the point 3, 4 and a radius of 4 would have the following equation. When we graph it, we see that the center is located at x equals 3 and y equals 4 and that it has a radius of 4. Here are two questions for you to do to help build your understanding. Press pause, answer the questions, and when you're ready, press play to continue. Write an equation of a circle whose center is at negative 2, 3, and that has a radius of 2. First, write down the generic equation. Based on the question, we see that h equals negative 2, k equals 3, and r equals 2. Now substitute these values into the equation. The equation is x minus negative 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 2 squared. We see that we are subtracting a negative so we can change that to a positive and now we have the equation of the circle. Next question. Write down the equation of the circle shown. Looking at the graph we find the center which is at 2, 0. From here we find the distance of the radius which is 4 units. Now write down the equation, then substitute in the values from the graph. h is replaced with 2, k with 0, and r with 4. You may have picked up on this in the last example, but there is actually only one equation you need to remember. The following equation with its origin at hk is also the equation of a circle whose origin is at 0, 0. Simply replace h and k with 0, and we've got the first equation we looked at. In this lesson, you learned about the equation and graphs of the conic section generated by a horizontal plane, also known as a circle. That the equation of this can be written like this, where the origin of the circle is at h, k, and it has a radius of r. The circle can be graphed using this information.